Ghost in the Shell is directed by Rupert Sanders and it stars Scarlett Johansson, Takashi Kitano, Pilo Asbeck, Michael Pitt, and Juliet Binock. It's set in the near future. Major, played by Scarlett Johansson, is the first of her kind. A human who is cyber at chance to be a perfect soldier devoted to stopping the world's most dangerous criminals. When terrorism reaches a new level that includes the ability to hack into people's minds and control them, Major is uniquely qualified to stop it. As she prepares to face a new enemy, Major discovers that she has been lied to, and her life was not saved, instead it was stolen. Personally, the most surprising aspect of Ghost in the Shell for me was that the live action remake actually tried to deviate from the original storyline considerably. This film, like the original, does deal with the same philosophical dilemmas about identity and memory, but here the focus is more on the central character than those bigger ideas. The writers attempt to flesh out Scarlett Johansson's central character by giving her a backstory that is partly interesting and somewhat chunky, but they do absolutely try and make the film as detective as possible. As the writers make the film more character driven, a lot of the film relies heavily on Scarlett Johansson's performance and I thought she pulled the role off rather well. Of course, there has been a lot of controversy surrounding the whitewashing of the central protagonist in the film, and I do think these are legitimate complaints raised by some people who would have preferred the film to have a Japanese actor portray the central protagonist. However, the makers of the original film and fans of the classic Japanese anime have continuously said that the original film did not specify the particular race and intensity of the central character, which is an equally legitimate counter-argument in my opinion. Though one can easily mull over this controversy and disregard Johansson's performance, it would be entirely unfair of me to be dismissive of Johansson's performance regardless of which side of the debate I fall on. What I can confidently say is that Johansson's performance did largely appeal to me. Johansson has done roles familiar to this in the past, most recently in 2013's extraordinary science fiction drama Under the Skin, and here again she plays the role of the conflicted cyborg really well through her facial expressions and dialogue delivery. Johansson's intentionally blank expressions and slightly stilled dialogue delivery complemented the conflict of the cyborg very well and made me care for the central character. While Scarlett Johansson's performance and the intention to make the remake into a new direction were the most surprising aspects of the film, the most impressive aspects of the film were undeniably its visuals and music. The best thing I can say about the visuals of Ghost in the Shell is that they feel, for the large part, original. There are a few scenes in which the film does pay homage to the visual brilliance of the science fiction films preceding it, particularly its original source material and Ridley, Ridley Scott's 1982 science fiction classic Blade Runner. But director Rupert Sanders, cinematographer Jess Hall, the visual effects team, and the production design team do a, do a stunning job of creating a cyberpunk aesthetic which is loaded with overstyles technology, but also with extremely narrow streets in urban decay. There are significant touches of Japanese culture included in this design, but I've particularly seen set inside a restaurant with a gese being an absolute standout. The cinematography from Jess Hall almost throughout the film is elegant and, and a tidy with the camera slowly panning in through its character in some moments to create a sense of eeriness. The cinematography combined with the subtle, almost zen-like score from Clint Mansell and Lauren Bethel does give the movie a lot more rep in scenes which have less supporting characters, just conferencing in exposition heavily dialogue with each other, or giving answers to these abstract philosophical questions about identity. This is exactly where the problem for the live-action remake of Ghost in the Shell lies for me, whereas the original film was about raising these questions about human identity, the live action remake believes in raising them and answering them for the audience. As a result, the remake for me loses a lot of the haunting, melancholic, lingering quality of the first film and through 
Admirably, it tries to replace it with its own original story. The screenplay feels a little dumbed down. The supporting characters, moreover, in the remake are not, are not nearly as impressive, with Batu's character and the central antagonist characters, in particular feeling grossly underdeveloped. The dialogue of the remake, like the original, also ranged between interesting to dull, Prentice's monologues, except here, it feels worse because a lot of the characters are actually giving answers to the philosophical question they raised in the film. Unfortunately, the remake suffers the most from the inevitable comparisons to other science fiction films like The Matrix and The Fifth Element and that the original had inspired, making the, the story of the remake never feel fresh or new. Despite the fact that the live-action remake of The Ghost in the Shell does not process the quality of its original, the film did leave me presently surprised by the way director Rupert Sanders decided to tackle the remake, and it doesn't deserve the hate it's currently receiving personally. I'm going to give Ghost in the Shell a B. It has enough visual panache, respect for the original, and enough of a difference to the original that it does justify its existence. Fuck the critics, man. Don't listen to them. Go see this film. It may not be amazing based on critical value, but I still deeply enjoyed it, and I'm definitely going to pick it up on Blu-ray when it's out. Guys, what are your thoughts on the new Ghost in the Shell remake? I definitely want to hear them. I also would appreciate feedback on my videos in the comments below, please. You're all awesome. Thank you, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Peace. <laughs>